The story I would like to share today is the story from the life of a monk. Now this monk, before he became a monk, he was living with his parents and he was the only son. And he was from a well-to-do, learned family. So the parents obviously adored him and they would always want him to be there. But when the son became an adult, he told his parents that he wants to become a monk and he wants to retire to the forest and do his austerities. So his parents were quite devastated to hear that and they pleaded with him, your intentions are glorious. If you want to become a monk, please do become a monk, but continue to stay in the house. But despite all the pleadings, the son did not listen and he went into the forest. So he started doing his austerities and one day when he was sitting under the tree in his meditation and in his spiritual practices, sadhana, a bird was sitting on the top and the dropping from the bird fell on his head and he was extremely livid and angry and he looked at the bird in great anger and as a result the bird got completely burnt and fell down. Then he thought, I never knew that I have developed so much of yogic power that my anger can burn this bird and he developed this awareness that he has become very much advanced and like a monk he would go for getting alms from the families in the community in the place where he was staying so he went for the alms and he was asking for the bhiksha from different families so in one family the lady told him to wait for a while i'll come and give you the alms please kindly wait for a while and this he did not like that this lady is asking me to wait. So when she did come out with the arms and she was offering him the grains and all, he also looked at him, he also looked at her angrily. Now the lady completely surprised him by telling him, hey, don't think I'm the bird that will burn because of your anger. Now this monk was completely, completely surprised and he is asking, how are you aware about this? She says, I am an ordinary woman, but I am doing my duties to the best of my abilities. My husband is sick. I have to look after him. When you came in, I was serving him. So I told you that I would be a little late. I wanted to finish the service and then come to give you the arms. So I am also doing my duties and doing one's prescribed duties is a great, great act. So this is the effect of doing your prescribed duties sincerely. And that's how I know what happened to you. Then she told him, you go to Mithila and meet this butcher and you can learn further wisdom from him. So this story actually is narrated by Sage Markande to Yudhisthir and it features in Mahabharat in the Van Parva. Swami Mukundanand, who is the source for all these stories for me, Inspired by his Bhagavad Gita, the song of God, which he has so beautifully compiled, I have been tempted to share some of their stories. So, this story is from Mahabharat. So, this butcher was completely puzzled and this lady knows my state and now I must abide by what she says. So, he went to Mithila 
and in Mithila, as described by her, he met a butcher, and this butcher was engaged in selling the meat. And he went and spoke to the butcher. The butcher spoke to him and told everything about him that this particular lady has sent you. You are so and so. And this is what has happened to you. Again, this monk was so, so, so surprised and he put his, uh, you know, he, 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 uh, rendered his uh, respect to the butcher and told him how come you all know this then the butcher also gave him the wisdom that your prescribed duty is so important because of the karma sometimes we may be born in an adversar adversarial situation like this butcher who is born in the family of a butcher but then he is a devotee of the Lord by heart he is doing his karma and that is the message that very soon the Lord will deliver his uh, his acts and the Lord will bestow his blessings according to the karma and sometimes we have to bear the karma you know because that is there in our destiny so this was the lesson from the life of the monk this story is very popular in India and many of you would have heard this story. When I heard and reheard this story, I was very much impressed and I thought I'll share it with you all. Thank you so much. Radhe Radhe.